Hello everybody and welcome back and let's see what the security measure would be for anyone to not be able to bypass the user account control on Windows 10 host. So in the previous video we saw that we are able to bypass and gain the, and gain the system uh, administrator account on the Windows 10 host. Uh, but let me just show you once again. So if I just sessions and then enter session ID number two and whoops I once again forgot the session so it is the session S I minus I and then I exit both of them and then I also enter the third one and exit that one as well so if I just type here sessions we do not have any connections anymore which is good so what we want to do uh, is basically repeat the process of exploit so I will do this uh, real fast I will not explain what I'm doing since I explained in previous videos so use exploit multi handler handler show options everything is already preset and I exploit minus J minus Z and I run this right here but before I actually run this uh, I want to set a certain settings in the Windows that enables us to actually uh, ask for the administrative password for all the important uh, programs that you open on Windows. For example, if you were to open Task Manager right now, it will not ask for any administrator password or anything like that. It will basically just open it and this is the most case in most Windows 10 machines since they do not have user account control in always notify when some application tries to run a certain program. But if you go to the search bar right here and type UAC, which will lead you to the control panel, change user account control settings, and you click on it, you will get this little window which will give you four different options when to notify you when apps try to make changes to computer which will notify you, for example, once you open the registry keys, the, the task manager, basically any important application. So as you can see, by default on Windows 10 hosts, it is set to don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings. So this will be set by default on most Windows 10 PCs. In order to bypass, uh, in order to actually secure yourself from the bypass mechanism that we did in the previous video, you want to set this to always notify. As we can see right here, it says always notify me when apps try to install software or make changes to my computer. Or always notify me when I make changes to Windows settings. So this will also prompt us for the uh, administrator password once we ask, once we for example open Task Manager. So just click here OK. Enter your administrator password. And if I just type your task manager once again, you will see that right now it will ask me, do I want to allow this app to make changes to the device? And I click here, yes, and then it opens the task manager. Now you might be asking, so what does task manager have anything to do with this? Well, basically the task manager doesn't have anything to do with this, but the always notify me option in the user account control uh, prevents the system uh, privileges bypass in the Kali Linux FOD helper module or basically any other module that you have for bypass in Windows 10. So if I show you right here, let me just see if we have any sessions connected. So we do not have any sessions connected. Let us double click this. We open the interpreter session four and we enter the session. So get user ID. We can see that we are just a simple user. We are not the, the system privilege admin. So what we want to do right now is use exploit bypass I believe or windows bypass not really sure let me just search bypass not really sure if it is a module or an exploit search bypass and let us try to find the same bypass module that we used so we just do it like this search bypass fod helper Or it is not fault helper let me just find it right here zoom out a little bit and let us see where our bypass fault helper is okay so here it is it was under local I forgot to specify this so it is underscore 
helper. So we copy this right here and then we zoom in so you can see it a little bit better Then use and we paste the name of the exploit, which is the same as in the previous video. And now if I clear the screen and just type here show options, everything is already set. We just need to change the session ID since if I type here sessions, you will see that right now the current session open is under ID 4. So we set session under 4 and we can try to exploit it right now. As you can see in the previous video it worked, but right now it will not work. As it says exploit aborted due to failure, not vulnerable. UAC is set to always notify me. This module does not bypass this setting exiting. And that's how you prevent the privilege escalation on your Windows 10 PC. Now it might be sometimes annoying when you need to open task manager every time and click do you want the, to allow this application to make changes, but it can be useful once you do not want anyone to gain system privilege escalation on your PC. So that would be about it for the preventing the privilege escalation on Windows 10. What we will do in the next video is cover some of the post modules, uh, post exploitation modules that you can use on the target. So that's about it for this video. I hope I see you in the next one and take care. Bye.